Mm. I'm gonna record myself eating carnivore for the next five days. We just finished the holidays. I was traveling a ton. I was eating a ton, which I love, but I also feel completely bloated, completely just like gross. And I'm gonna kick off 2023 with the carnivore diet. Now, I've done keto multiple times in the past. I actually love a keto lifestyle, but I've been really bad the last six months. So I'm hoping by just like going hardcore carnivore for five days, that's gonna really jumpstart my keto again. Maybe I'll enjoy carnivore even more, I don't know. I'm not going to be like a 30 day carnivore person unless it just becomes that. I'm just going to do five solid days, show you what I eat. We'll do it together. What is the difference between keto and carnivore? The ketogenic diet is one that is high fat, low protein, and a goal of 20 carbs or less per day. Carnivore is similar, believing most calories should come from fat, then protein, and very few, if any, carbohydrates. Carnivore is essentially the base of an elimination diet. It's high fat and focused on meat, poultry, some fish, and eggs. People who are full carnivore only use salt with no added spices. Butter is a staple on the carnivore diet as well as some dairy. No vegetables are included. On keto, I enjoy non-starchy vegetables like spinach, cauliflower, mushrooms, and bell peppers. On carnivore, it's only meat. After my five-day carnivore experience, I plan to transition towards keto by adding in some cauliflower and green leafy vegetables. I'm not adding these for vitamins, but rather for my palate and to make eating out simpler. Between carnivore and keto, there is ketovore, and that is the eating plan I hope to achieve and have success with in 2023. And with that, I need to get dressed because we need to go to Costco and get some meat. Today's January 2nd. I would never start a diet on January 1st because that's still the holiday. I don't know how people start on the 1st. So it's the 2nd and we're going to run into Costco and we're going to pick up just a horde amount of meat. I'm also hoping they have a dehydrator so that I can make my own jerky. If they don't, we'll maybe have to run over to Bed Bath & Beyond, but hopefully Costco is a one-stop shop today. All right, we are back from Costco and I deserve a medal for going to Costco on January 2nd. I heard from the checkers that it was worse than even Christmas and I have no doubt it was kind of horrible. So I just basically grabbed anything that I thought I would eat. So I grabbed uh, chicken thighs. Actually, I won't eat those. Jason will, that's what he wanted. I don't like them unless they're marinated in a certain way. So that won't work for carnivore. I did get Wagyu uh, hamburger meat. So that had like 25% fat. So I think that's going to be super yummy. In fact, I might smash one of those down on the skillet right now and eat it because I'm so hungry. I got two bags of the uh, party wings. So these are delicious in my air fryer. I'm going to slow cook the tri-tips down in my slow cooker so that I have it like just ready to go like pulled meat. We will grill these for dinner. These are just ribeyes. Jason is going to smoke this big brisket just with salt. I did order a dehydrator. I'm going to make jerky with this. This is the beef loin. It was already cut for me. So I think that's going to make great beef jerky. I got some shrimp too to saute in butter. Speaking of butter, I decided that if butter is the only condiment I can have on this diet, then I better get all the butters I can find. I've always wanted to try this roll butter whenever I see it at the store. Uh, they were out of the carry gold at Costco today. So I got the organic salted butter. I did pick up some more carry gold at my Safeway. I got the ghee. I thought we'd try Finlandia butter and German butter, so we'll see if I can tell the difference. I did get more bacon and more eggs. I'm not a big egg eater, or egg eater at all, what am I saying? But maybe on this diet, I'll get encouraged to want to try and maybe fall in love with eggs. Make sure if you haven't already given this video a like, you do, and subscribe. We also need to clean our refrigerator out and get rid of like all of the Christmas food that we do not need to eat anymore as well as over here no more eating like that for right now try some of this German butter. 
Okay, let's try out our hamburger patties. I don't know if I'll start with ghee next time. I think that I'll just do it quickly without ghee and see if that gives me a better crust because I think last time I did it, I didn't start with a fat and it gave me a better crust. This looks delicious though. It's almost 3.30, so I normally do an intermittent fast. So this isn't abnormal for me to eat my first meal this late. I was actually trying to do kind of a longer fast before I started this only because I had so much sugar in my system and I've been so bloated that I just like wanted to try to get it moving out of my body before I started adding anything else into my digestion. I forgot to mention in this that I will be using pepper and some spices. I know some people don't do any of that when they're dealing with like a ton of food allergies or trying to cut out everything. I don't have an issue with spices and spices are probably what's gonna keep me motivated. So we will definitely be using pepper. I'm also going to continue drinking my sugar-free Red Bulls. I know that you're supposed to cut out everything, but people, still have coffee on carnivore and I don't drink coffee. So one sugar-free Red Bull will be my coffee essentially. And maybe I'll get off of that. I don't know. We're gonna do the best we can. I'm not changing every single aspect of my life. Otherwise we won't function and we won't make it. And that's not the point. So after that first one, I felt full and fine or sat satiated rather. And so I was gonna give it to Jason when he got home from Home Depot, but Stuart said he was hungry. So he's eating it. What do you think? It's so good. I loved how his first question was, is this vegan? I said, it's the opposite of vegan. Well, you're always into vegan. No, I'm not always. I went to one resort that was vegan. I'm he not- in with you. I know, and it was a great experience, but I don't necessarily believe being vegan. It was a great experience. It was, but not the food. I thought the food was delicious. I'm Didn't sorry. stop me from eating. I don't think it stopped you from eating either, by the way. So I knew I let myself go a little bit this holiday season. The scale just told me that I jumped up 11 pounds since the last time I weighed in on it, which was probably right before Christmas Eve. Um, so yes. Kim ate a lot and I had great experiences and I'm not upset about it, but we're gonna take this off. Now, I don't think it's 11 pounds of fat. I think it's 11 pounds of a lot of like inflammation and things like that. We'll see what the next five days holds for us as it kind of just like starts draining out of my body. This is gonna be my meal number two for our first day. I'm doing shrimp scampi. I will be including garlic in my meal because I don't have a sensitivity to garlic and I'm doing this to help basically lose weight, get sugar out of my blood and I'm not worried about some spices like garlic. Plus, it's going to make my shrimp taste so much better. You're keeping me on I'm strapped in cook again. Here's my fridge stocked with a lot of protein. I'm going to do these uh, tri-tips in my slow cooker so that when I wake up in the morning, I have shredded beef ready to go. I really love this crock pot. Not only is it a huge quantity, I don't know if it's like 12 quarts or what, the inside of it comes out and I can sear on my stove top, which is great because I love getting a sear on it and then letting it go all night. This is a recipe that I make normally, so I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit for carnivore. So I'll be frying it and searing it in uh, ghee rather than vegetable oil, which I would normally do. And then I'm just gonna do some garlic powder on it, salt and cumin. Again, I'm not, not having spices. Dry that meat off. The ghee is in melting. The only issue with this cut of meat for carnivore is there's not really a lot of fat on it. So yeah, it has some marbling in it, but honestly, there is a normal, there's a fat cap here, but Costco takes the fat cap off. I actually appreciate that. However, Safeway leaves the fat cap on. So you do pay, I feel like, and then you have to trim it still. But I guess in carnivore, you probably would want that because you could render down all that fat. So next time, I'll pick up my tri-tips at Safeway and have all that extra fat. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I never put the cumin on yet because I don't want it to burn when I'm searing it. That's what I get for not thinking while I'm filming. Because sometimes when you burn your spices, they can become really bitter. Let's sear it. I 
then we just bring it over from the stove and stick it in here. And now we'll put on the garlic and the cumin. I did do some pepper while I was cooking it as well. Both sides are nicely seared. I'm gonna dump in some water scent. Normally I do like onions and bell peppers, so it gets moisture from that, but this time I'm not. I'll give it some water and I'm putting it on low for the night. It's its cap. So I let it go all night. And now it's just like, probably just, yeah. And it's got great juice. And this will be something really easy for me. The only issue with this is that there's just not that much fat. Like normally on keto, I would eat this with like a sriracha mayo. And I guess I can make like a homemade keto mayonnaise or something to go with it. I think that's the only issue I really have with carnivore is I just really like sauces. And I don't feel like I get like very much option towards sauce. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, today's day two. Kim, stop worrying about your sauces. It's going to be great. It's almost time to go to the movies, so I am making myself bacon. I like taking bacon in a bag to the movie theaters because it stops me from wanting to eat popcorn. Especially since this is the second day on the diet, it will be very hard for me when I'm there smelling the popcorn. And so by having something rich and buttery and super satisfying and salty like bacon, it's the perfect thing to take to the movie theaters when you're on keto or carnivore. Jason just grilled ribeyes for us. So these look delicious. And then I still have my shredded crock pot meat. So we'll have that, like, I like having that on hand, but I'm excited about the new meat. And then I got a new air fryer for chicken wings. So this is a dual ninja one, much bigger capacity. So I do have chicken wing drumettes going in there right now too. about 7 30 p.m at night and i'm in a sauna i'm not in the sauna that we have in the house i'm just doing a nice sweat and then i'm gonna take a nice cool shower and then put on snuggly pajamas climb into bed do some editing and then go to sleep tomorrow is a yoga morning for me but because i started this diet yesterday and then today is the end of day two I'm going to see how I feel in the morning. I might wake up at five and feel totally fine, but I also don't want to push myself too hard this first week and then for some reason, like, I don't know, get off track. So I'm going to play it by ear in the morning. All right, you guys, I made it. I did get up for yoga this morning, so I am feeling pretty good even on our third, start of the third day of the carnivore diet. Oh, thank you. Just getting my yoga mat out of the back of the car. And uh, you ready for this, Jason? I'm ready. I think the car's turned off. It's got a mind of its own, though. Look at you, you're such a yogi now. You've got your Aviator Nation on. So nice. It's all about the outfit. I mean, hello. That's why I do anything. <laughs> I got my short shorts on. I know. I'm ready. Are those like the seven inch inseam? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, right now they're kind of short. <laughs> Jason's telling me how much he loves his food containers. Of course, these are found on Amazon, correct? Yes. <laughs> Lovely. And then I don't have to worry about you not bringing home my Tupperware. That's true. That's why I did it. Because the office was filling up with my Tupperware. I'd be like, where is it? Uh, well, the thing is, I make my lunch every day. Hardly. You DoorDash. So here are my chicken wings that I actually started last night and forgot about them. So then I just rewarmed them up. Ooh. But you guys... Look at how crispy these are. Ooh, Yum. Is it good? Did I do a good job? Uh, 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 it's hot. 
Um, yeah, you can have one. I'm gonna try one later. But we can pull one out and let it cool. Here. Here, here. There you go. Oh my god. Here, I want you to hear the crispiness on this. Can I do this? Let me see. Here, Stuart, hold this. It's not hot. Just hold it on his end. I just want to be able to do the finger. Okay, here's the crispy noise. I'm not gonna cut your fingers. You gotta hold it. You hear how crispy that is? Crispy. Wait, now he's saying they're too crispy. Well, just stop. Overcooked. What? I let them go all night and then I started them again this morning. So how could that possibly be the case? I'll still eat them. Yeah. I'll when do you say them. no to a chicken wing? This is what I'm surrounded by. Oh, Men yeah. oh, yeah. telling me how to be 24 seven. Just working and I have some chicken wings out of that air fryer. So this is a great little companion to as I'm working editing. So as I'm on a premiere for the Indian Springs video, I am just having some shredded beef today on day four. Today is day five of the carnivore diet and this morning I went to hot yoga at 6 a.m. I woke up not feeling amazing, but also not feeling that bad. I can get it up. I wasn't sure how yoga would go, but I had like one of the best sweats and flows of recent time. I did feel spent, but not like horrible. And now I have a full work day ahead of me and I think it's gonna be great. We did do beef jerky last night and I made another thing of chicken wings and today we're gonna start smoking a brisket. So again, just kind of just eating meats. Also for dinner last night, we made that Wagyu hamburger meat from Costco that's 25% fat, which is delicious. Because of the high fat content, I started a grease fire in the kitchen. Just be careful with these high fat proteins. I don't know, I think what ended up happening is because I'd cooked it before and it was great. And because I was doing so many, because that was what we were having for dinner with the boys, I did theirs first. And then instead of throwing out the oil, I just threw Jason and my patties into it. That oil got way too hot. I think if I had dumped it in between the batches of cooking, it would have been totally fine. But because I decided to just be like, oh, it's gonna be great. It like created a house fire and that was annoying. So I'm on my way to get the boys from school and I just like grabbed some chicken wings and threw them into the Ziploc bag and I'm gonna eat this while driving there. They're such yummy snacks. I don't even warm them up. I just keep them in that box on my counter. I eat them room temperature. I just love them. This is a ketone stick. I'm gonna go pee on it and we're gonna see how dark it gets to be able to verify like if I got into ketosis. Here is my stick and it looks like it's matching up to the 40 or the 4.0 area on the ketone measuring chart. Success. Okay, we've been doing bacon in the air fryer and it's delicious. It's awesome because it doesn't make a splatter grease mess. It's just doing it in the baskets and look at how this comes out. It's so yummy and perfect. This was not my idea, this was Jason's idea. I would have never even thought about doing bacon in the air fryer. Good idea, Jason. So yummy. So it's almost 6 p.m. on the fifth night of this carnivore diet. And I only had a few chicken wings today, actually. I'm ready to go home and eat, and I, I think I'm gonna have just more shredded beef. But feeling good, never felt tired today, never felt lethargic, never felt like I wanted to go to sleep or that, like my mood just felt very, very consistent all day long. I got up at 5 a.m for hot yoga, I did that, I had meetings, I edited, I worked, I just went and got my nails done, I went to Costco. I feel like I had a really full day and I feel like I still have a lot more day to live tonight, so that's pretty exciting. Okay, it's time to weigh in. Let's see if I lost any weight this week. You can see that I lost about seven pounds. I did before and after photos. I don't know if they show a tremendous difference, but I'll share them with you anyways. Again, I'm still not happy with where I am right now, but I wanted to kick off my year with this five-day carnivore challenge and just see if you guys have done it and if it's inspirational for you and if I could truly do it, which I did. And now I'm going to transition more into ketovore, but I'm going to be eating this way consistently for the next month or so, trying to prepare for my plastic surgery, which is Valentine's Day 2023. So I have 
have about six weeks left to get ready for my surgery and get my body in optimum health so that I can recover quickly. During this week, I also started to do cold exposure. I was taking myself out to the cold pool and basically plunging myself in there for three to four minutes, and I've gotten better at it, and it really helps with my inflammation and basically spurring on white blood cell growth and a bunch of other benefits, apparently, to cold plunging that I'm excited to learn more about and experience. I also used my infrared sauna a few times and had some great sweats. Did I enjoy this? Yes, I did. I thought it was really beneficial for me. Of course, this isn't my first rodeo when it comes to low carb or no carb. So I was familiar and I didn't have a hard time getting into ketosis or committing to eating meat. I am a meat eater, so it's not difficult for me, but I do like variety. So I would say that's the hardest challenge. I think if you just do big cooks, you have your food ready and it's things that you enjoy, you can stay the course. I would definitely do this again to boost my keto lifestyle. And maybe what I'll do is I'll start cycling on carnivore and then into keto ketovore and carnivore. I don't know. I'm going to play it by ear and see what works best for me. As usual, thanks for stopping by and watching this video with me. And I hope that it helps inspire you towards better health goals this year. Make sure to look below for anything that you saw in the video that you're interested in, because I do link to most things. Make sure if you haven't already given this video a like, you do and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around. So little, and we keep track of time Being so serious, idiot